Hey, good morning channel. Just heading out to my little village again, Tugulua, in southeast Queensland. It's about two hours west of Brisbane. And we're just heading up to a old sawmill today, if I can find it. Turn of the century um, sawmill uh, used, obviously, for when they were logging. Um, taking all the um, prime hardwoods, which thankfully they no longer do. Well, um, and then around the back of uh, Somerset to Vilnius and at Vilnius um, heading up left onto the Woodford Kilcoy Road so I want to try and miss most of that road on the back roads if I can um, and then from there as you'll see on the map that's popping up now um, from there we're heading um, just outside of Woodford we're heading left up to the Glasshouse Mountains Road um, and then taking um, a left off that road towards Bellamthorpe, so Bellamthorpe Rangers or Bellamthorpe National Park, I think it is, it's State Park or National Park, can't remember again. So many of them around here. Um, so we're off to Bellamthorpe, um, we're off to the hall at Bellamthorpe, uh, which is a one horse uh, village of about six houses, I think. Um, um, and then heading into, I think it is a national park, so going beyond them into the national park. So that is the plan, um, and then into the national park, I think it's about 10 to 15 k's, it's not very far off road today actually, so I've only got 10, 15 k's of track, but given the rain um, that I've had, that could be extremely interesting, to say the least, so let's um, hope it's dried out a little bit. Uh, we'll see when we get there, might be lucky. Anyway, so that is the plan. So this is Gregor's Road. Like I say, this cuts through um, from sort of the Tugulawa, Kil uh, Tugulawa Road um, towards Woodford and Kilcoy, or Kilcoy first, and then on to Woodford, obviously. So two thirds of the way through autumn, going into winter. And I said this last week, actually, is the first week, um, I think it was last weekend, actually, at Lake Broadwater, that I actually felt a little bit cold for the first time in a year. So here, uh, welcome, this is the Kilcoy uh, Motocross Club. Never actually been there, I should actually find out when there's a meet on and just um, just go for a sticky beak. But this is just the um, back road to Lake Somerset. Lake Somerset is just over there, you'll be able to see it as we get further around. This is um, Wycolner's Old Untouched Roads, basically, as you'll see in a minute. Um, you've got all these old uh, little farmsteads and, and you know rural sort of horse properties left and right of you. Um, and then very shortly it turns into single track road and then track road. Track. No warning again, typical. Australia change of roads, stank it along 100, 110 in the outback on a road and suddenly just turns to a bloody track. Um, anyway, um, I might do a very soon a one year with the mods review and just let you know what's what's failed, uh, what's worked, what's been replaced, and the condition of all the mods that are put on here, uh, given nearly What's it, 18,000 k's nearly now, coming up to, of riding. Um, obviously I did the Google Tech View filter a few weeks back. Um, that's obviously paid for itself. It saved a lot of crap going into the bike view filter and beyond. Um, so I'm definitely leaving that in. It is a slow fill tank though with the Google Tech View filter and as I said on the video, um, I'll put a card for it up here. Um, to stop before the junction here and um, get a GPS on and find out. Oh, I'll just stop the engine a minute actually, find out where I've got to go.
can't believe it. <sighs> I was hoping for a... Go on, love, you're going to have to go past. I can't go past until you've gone. Beautiful. Ah, oh, look at that man. Where's he going? It's all right. It's all right. Beautiful. Is he going to come back? Because there's a fence there. Wow, he's jumped that fence somehow. Bloody hell. That's another one. Look at this one. Wow, I didn't realise there was deer around here. Beautiful. I don't know how I can get this one. It's alright. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright, it's alright, don't have to bolt. So here we go, here's the um the track. So I get very distracted this morning, obviously the um Old Brandon Sawmill. So it does get a bit rougher, folks, and a bit wetter. Woodford Gymna. Ah, oh, Woodford Gymna. That's interesting. GPS and oops. Keep for another day. So again, it's um, it's not my speed on the track I'm worried about. It's actually Utes coming the other way at slightly higher speeds than I'd want them to be. So where is it? It must be here. Oh yeah, here we go. Bloody hell, there's a whole crowd. thousands here again. <laughs> trying to find these where can you find quiet places nowadays? The internet has killed everything, hasn't it? I'm, I'm contributing to it by doing this blog I guess. Letting people know where all these places are. Anyway, this is um, old Brandon's sawmill. I don't know if they talk the set or the car yet. I have no idea. <laughs> you would hope so, but yeah probably. you would hope so but it must have been the same technology. Good event you yeah. mate. Yeah you too. adventure and I have sort of mini adventures and then I have adventures but there we go and then my life will soon be an adventure it's time it's really going quickly towards that shipping date next year can't believe it um, so um, please subscribe to the channel really do appreciate um, your comments if you've got any questions about the bike about the why I ride with what equipment to do anything like that the um, main road ish <laughs> going into Tagulawa 
coming from the north from Kilcoy direction. It's been a, a nice morning's ride, escaped the rain, had a really good nutter for another Himalayan rider. Cheers guys and girls, please subscribe, thanks to those who have subscribed. Uh, I'll try and keep some content, content going on a fairly frequent basis, like I said, they're not going to be big trips until uh, until the end of the year, I've overcommitted my, um, myself as normal.